Hi, I'm Pam and I'm here to talk about retro video games. Today I'm talking about an arcade game that takes more than a few cues from Pac-Man. It's Trog. Trog was originally developed by Midway and released in arcades in 1990. It was ported to the NES by Visual Concepts and also ported to DOS. I played the NES version, though I will compare it a bit to the original arcade game. So what's the story here? In the land of Og, there are one-eyed cavemen called Trogs, short for troglodytes, and there are dynamites. You play a dynamite whose goal is to steal eggs while avoiding the Trogs, who want to eat you. Over a series of 50 stages, you'll be challenged to gather every egg on screen, then make your way to the exit. But there will be obstacles. Trogs will spawn from holes in the ground, and though they're not particularly clever about chasing you, if you get surrounded or caught off guard, they can knock you out. When this happens, they'll whip out a knife and fork and literally eat the meat off your bones. I was a little taken aback the first time I saw this happen. You're not helpless though, as you can take out trogs by punching them using the A or B button. Punching and changing the direction of your constantly moving dino are the only controls available to you. Trogs are not the only danger you'll face. In many levels, you can fall off the edge into water or lava, which will cost you a life. It's not terribly obvious which edges you can fall off, especially for those at the edges of the screen. Sometimes an invisible barrier seemed to keep me from falling, and sometimes I had no such luck. Trogs can also create fires which will burn you if you run over them, or tar pits that you'll drown in, but these things happen rather infrequently. You get three lives and three continues to complete the game, and can gain more lives by reaching certain scores. I do like that after losing a life, you continue right from where you were, and get to keep any eggs you've already collected in a level, rather than having to start over. There are also a number of items you can pick up that affect you in some way. Red flowers make you faster, while blue mushrooms make you slower. Horseshoes give you temporary protection, hot tamales let you shoot fireballs, and ice cubes will freeze any enemies on screen. The big power-up is a pineapple, which turns you into a large T-Rex, allowing you to devour any trogs who have the misfortune of being in your path, and preventing you from falling off ledges. Though there are a few gameplay differences, Trog is still very similar in concept to Pac-Man. But rather than play a yellow pizza with a slice missing, what is Pac-Man supposed to be anyway? You get to play as a dinosaur named Bloop, which is an obvious improvement. I'm a bit of a sucker for a dinosaur theme, and some of the animations and transitions between stages are what stand out to me most about the game. I love the effect when you turn into a T-Rex, and it's fun to turn the tables on the trog and eat them. The dino dance that happens when you complete each stage is fun and adorable. Unfortunately, the rest of the game's look and sound is not overly impressive and does get redundant. While the levels do change up a bit, some are themed after tropical islands, some are icy, some fiery, there's not a whole lot of variations and the layouts do start repeating. Likewise, the entire game soundtrack is only 8 or 9 minutes long, so you'll hear that repeating a lot too. There are really only a couple new mechanics introduced over the course of the game. The first is teleportation chambers. If you enter a doorway, you'll come out a different, connected one. Then there are catapults, which will bounce you to a different part of the screen. Unfortunately, when you get the ability to bounce, so do the trogs. If a trog lands on you, it'll kill you. But if you land on a trog, it will also kill you. The catapults are rather annoying in their randomness and often leave you open to attack. I found these were the major source of difficulty, and as you progress, you'll also face a greater amount of trogs who can move faster and can start throwing wheels at you. Occasionally, you'll be treated to a bonus stage where you'll be tasked with killing as many trogs as possible in a limited amount of time. These are mostly just a way to boost your score. One other nice bonus is that there is a way to warp forward by three stages. 
At the start of each stage, one of the eggs on screen will glimmer momentarily. If you collect this egg last, a warp portal will open up. However, it will only work if you get through the stage in a single life. The game's start screen makes it look like there are multiple difficulty levels, but as far as I could tell, it's really just a selection of which stage to start at. Nothing else seemed different when choosing advanced or expert rather than easy. You can play Trog with a second player who will take control of a dino named Spike. In this mode, you're competing to collect all the eggs that match your dino's color and make it to the exit first. In the original arcade game, you can play with up to four players rather than just two. It also boasts much more advanced graphics, which use a claymation look, making it very visually distinct. Trog was not originally developed as a Pac-Man-style maze game. It was supposed to be more of a strategy game, where rather than directly control the dino, you laid down bones to block off paths and direct it where you wanted. However, people who played it did not find it fun, and the game was almost cancelled. The developers decided to use the sprites and levels they had created and refashion it into the game it became. Trog is a decent arcade port. I really like the sprites and animations, though the gameplay and levels start to feel repetitive long before its 50 stages are done. It's fun, but only for a limited time. If you want to see more prehistoric NES, check out my review of the Flintstone Surprise at Dino Peak, or another of my videos. I have a Patreon if you want to support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.